Hi, I'm David Brass, the uh, owner of Fredded Americana, and this is my great friend Phil. And we just want to thank you so much for watching us 10 million times. It's uh, quite amazing. We're really quite thrilled, aren't we? That's pretty kick ass, man. <laughs> no, really, thanks. I mean, it means a lot. Like, I mean, I never thought we'd get up to 10 million, and here we are. So I'm like, very excited about it. So, how quickly can we do the next 10 million? Let's get it going, man. Let's get it going. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We shot some more film tonight, so we want to get up to 20 million. You help us, Greg. <laughs> What's up, man? It's Phil X, and I'm here to talk about the new Evil Robot. Initially, the, the plan to, to, for this amplifier was to call it the Tone Monster, and then we even went as far as saying, hey, check out the Tone Monster. We did those videos. Um, what ended up happening was there was a legal issue, and we had to change the name, because somebody owned Tone Monster and Tone Master and Tone. They own tone. What? What can I? You know, what can anybody say? They also own a particular F too, for some, for some reason. Um. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about the evil robot. Awesome, awesome, awesome sounding amplifier. Let's give you a little bit of history. We've been doing these videos for over a year, and for the longest time, we were using a Magnatone Tone Master from the, the early '60s, and uh, it actually even might be the late '50s. We haven't really. We don't know the year of it, but the whole point is that um, even mine, it's my Tone Master, and, uh, and that speaker is on its way out. <laughs> it's like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do when this speaker falls apart? Because it's got a thousand hours on it, at least. And um, so we all sat down, we thought, wow, if it doesn't have much of a life yet, what are we going to do? We need to, get, we need to get one or duplicate it or replicate it. And we had a talk with my buddy John Cashin, who just walked into the room because he's a cool dude. And um, he came to support. Thanks, John. <laughs> And uh, he uh, took my Tone Master apart and totally replicated it. And uh, the hardest part was, um, actually, I can't tell you because it's a secret ingredient in the gravy. But uh, also, a uh, speaker, it was, it was hard to find a speaker because if you put a new speaker in, in, in that circuit, I mean, coupled it with that circuit, it, uh, it sounded harsh because it, it was a new speaker. So um, through a lot of testing, we found a speaker that didn't sound so so brittle out of the, out of the box. Um, almost sounded fatigued, if you will. And uh, that's what we got going on. This amp is that my Tone Master replicated into a, a new model with a really cool speaker. And uh, it kicks ass. There is a limited run for the initial release of 100. And you can place your order now! <laughs> uh, for the little, little price of $1 million! I'm playing an ES-335, 1965 ES-335 TD. I was just getting lost in the tone. This is the treble pickup in the Evil Robot. The settings I have, in case anyone's curious, I have the three-way switch that you get your variety is mellow, normal, and um, bright. I have the volume at 4 o'clock and the tone at three o'clock, two o'clock, and it sounds like this. Which is, to me, I don't know what it sounds like in there, but out here it sounds awesome! All right. to the uh, middle position on this guitar.
going to the neck pickle. Okay, this guitar just sounds awesome, but man, this amp really makes it speak. And that is the amp, no overdrive pedal, no nothing going on. Hey buddy, what's up? And uh, we just had a newcomer come into the room. So I said hi. Uh, but I'm not disclosing any names. It could be Angus Young, Eddie Van Halen, or John Kasha. Oh yeah, man. 1979, 1978. Highway to Hell record. Walk all over you. Love that song. And the E chord just sounds amazing! <laughs> I can't help myself. Just want to play the E chord. Oh, I'm not low. Look out! Ow! Okay. <laughs> um, what else we got going on? Okay, um, you know what? Let's clean up the amp a little bit, see what happens. I'm gonna put it around 11 o'clock and put a little vibrato on and see what happens. Here we go. Let's speed that up, man! Um, there's also this. Okay, let's turn the vibrato off, stay clean, and go to the neck pickup and do some legging. So, man, I don't know what else to do, I'm speechless. Every time I plug into this amplifier. Okay, we have other settings. Let's go, everything, let's put everything on full and go to the mellow setting, okay? Which is a different version. That's actually the treble pickup in the mellow setting. So it sounds really rich and fat. So if you go to the neck pickup, it's even richer and fatter. <laughs> but, um, sounds like a lady I know. But anyways, um, we got middle position, which actually sounds really nice. And you turn down and it cleans up nicely too. Let's go to middle, which is normal setting. I got a request to never play that song ever again. <laughs> and 
And I got a request to never play this again either. And I also got a request to never play this again. And I got a request to never play. Okay, I forget it. Um, somebody actually said, please don't play this again. Like, who would say that? Like, don't play that song. I'm in the bright setting with the volume up here. Ow! I think this is my rockabilly stance. It's Bon Scott, beating around the bush, ACDC, Highway to Hell. I never understand what that guy says. But, actually I've been, um, I've been in the studio a lot lately, since uh, I got mine, and I've been using it. And every time I plug it in and put a mic on it, everybody loses their mind. Engineers, producers, they're like, what the hell is that? I go, man, that's the evil robot. And they go, cool name. <laughs> but it sounds awesome. Uh, you know, we put a 57 in front of it. Right now we have an SM7 in front of it. But you can try different kind of mic combinations. I, I recorded it at home the other day. I had a 57 and a ribbon, a Royer 121. And I, I had to uh, kind of place them off axis and then invert the phase on the 121 and the sound was insane. It just sounded in incredible. If you wanted to sound brighter, you can pull up the 57. If you want to sound a little darker, you can pull up the 121. And uh, it just sounds incredible. Especially for overdubs. I, I could record a wall of Marshalls. And if I want to record a solo on top of that, I could use the Evil Robot and it'll still soar on top. Because it's got the right frequencies. Or it doesn't have to be too loud. The price is $15.95. Um, I just went to the amp show in Man Eyes. And uh, I saw a lot of, this is an 18 watt amp. I saw a lot of 18 watt amps that were pretty much the same price or more. Um, I even saw a head. It didn't even come with a speaker. There was an 18 watt head that was $1,500. And there's no speaker, just a head. And it didn't even come close to how amazing this amp sounds. So I just thought, to put it in perspective, you're talking about a hand wired amplifier with USA parts and a killer speaker. Um, we're not making any money, folks. <laughs> It's an expensive amp to build, so that's why it's, it's expensive. Um, if you guys are really good, maybe we'll give one away because, you know, maybe we'll have a little contest. And one lucky winner will win a tone, the tone of the evil robot. <laughs> um, and that'll probably be mine because they're not giving any away. <laughs> okay, they can have mine. Um, so, uh, all I can say is uh, this amp kicks ass, and I can play a little more if you want. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Hey, wait! Yeah! It's the evil robot, baby! Woo! We, we've been getting a lot of inquiries about uh, overseas and all over the world, and it will work everywhere. It's got 100, 110, 112, 120, 140, whatever you need, man. You just set it and rock the f*** out. Ow! Thank you very much. You've been an awesome, awesome audience. Woo -hoo! Woo! I'm taking off now. Woo -hoo! Bye. <laughs>